Dear students in grade 9, good afternoon. Welcome to our new session for today in which we are going to talk about Unit 6. Dear students, dear colleagues, let me first introduce my colleagues in the studio who are going to participate in this seminar. Ms. Samar Esrawi, uh, an English teacher from Damascus countryside. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Ms. Samar oh, and Mr. Mazen Abdul Karim, an English teacher from Damascus countryside. Good afternoon, Mr. Good afternoon. Mazen. Well, dear students, as you know, uh, the title of Unit 6, as you can see, uh, is Exciting a Challenge. Of course, in our life, in our everyday life, we usually, let's say, face uh, exciting challenges. Yeah, sure. uh, Every day we can uh, meet uh, challenges, mm -hmm. we can face challenges. So let me first uh, try to introduce the contents of Unit 6, as you can see on the screen. The title of, as I said, the unit is Exciting Challenge. So the unit plan, of course, when we talk about the speaking skill, here you're going to learn how to discuss favorite sure. characters. Uh, then, when we talk about reading, of course, we're going to read a text about Thomas Edison, the uh, famous scientist. And then, when we talk about vocabulary, uh, of course, we're going to learn some words or new vocabs related to the reading text. And uh, then we can talk about grammar. In grammar, of course, we're going to learn imperatives. And uh, in listening, we can say that you're going to learn how, uh, let's say, to, to a decision. You are going to listen to learn how to listen to a decision on how to help a village. Uh, here, as uh, uh, the unit mentions, of course. Uh, then, when we talk about writing, uh, you're going to learn how to write uh, a paragraph about a solution to a definite situation. Let's say that we have a problem, and you're going to write a paragraph how to solve this problem. Uh, that's everything. Now, uh, uh, dear students, let us start with the first skill, which is the reading skill. Of course, here I have some questions about uh, this, uh, let's say, text. Uh, reading text yes. this summer. Uh, mother's decisions can change the world, of course. Uh, in our everyday life, uh, we have great mothers, of course. All yeah, mothers sure. are great, of course. And they can, so. let's say, by making decisions, they can change our life or they can change life. Their decisions are very important in our life. Uh, in general, we can say uh, the decisions of parents. And here we're talking about the experience of Thomas Edison and how his mother, his mother's decision yes, changed, changed his, his life. life. Yes, sure. uh, uh, what, Miss Samar, did the teacher uh, uh, give Edison? as the reading text says. Yeah, okay. Good afternoon, first of all, uh, and uh, welcome to our uh, unit six. Okay, uh, here we are going to talk about uh, Thomas Edison and who, know, who doesn't know the story of Thomas Edison? Uh, I think no one. Okay, so here we have, it's a story and it's a nice story actually. One day Thomas Edison came home and uh, gave his mother a letter, mm -hmm. so uh, from his teacher. But so, what is the content of the letter? Who knows? <laughs> mm. So here one day, Thomas Edison came yes. home yes. and gave his mother a letter from his teacher. So his teacher gave Edison a letter, a letter yes. and he told him that this letter must is be, let's say, taken to your mother. You should sure. take this letter or give this letter to your mother. So when he arrived home, mm -hmm. he gave the letter to his, his mother. mother. Uh, good. Now... Yes. Uh, Another question, Mr. Mazen. Yes. How did his mother feel, I mean, when his mother read, read the, the letter, the, okay. how did she feel? Yes, as uh, his mother read the letter, she, you know, felt sad. Her eyes were tearful. Mm -hmm. So, when she read the letter, as she read the letter, his mother's eyes were tearful. It mm -hmm. means that she was sad. She yes, was sad, uh, sad you know not why? happy. Yes, yes. she um, wasn't happy. Of course, we're going to know why. Yeah, of course. So Thomas Edison's teacher here wrote that Edison, what, was, what did he write in the letter, Miss Samuel? Yeah, okay, the teacher wrote in uh, the letter that Edison was mentally ill, mm -hmm. maybe stupid, mm -hmm. let's say, 
and wouldn't be allowed in school anymore. So he has, uh, let's say, he, uh, his teacher yes, uh, wrote him that from, Thomas Edison yes. had a mm -hmm. problem in his mind. Yes. He has something uh, uh, in his not mind. Normal, yes. Uh, yes, in his mind, a mental problem. Maybe he is. He was mentally ill. That's how he wrote, right? Or what he wrote, and wouldn't be allowed in the school anymore. Anymore, yes. So then, yes. of course, uh, how did Mr. Mazen? Uh, Thomas Edison's mother react to this situation. Yes, uh, her reaction was great. She, instead of reading the original letter, mm -hmm. she uh, uh, pretended that she was reading the letter, and she said that uh, because you are genius, uh, Thomas, because you are genius, uh, uh, the school is too small for you. Mm -hmm. oh. So and. Uh, that's uh, the the letter, but she changed the original. So we letter. can say, as the text says, yeah. when Edison asked his mother what this letter was about, mm -hmm. she pretended. She pretended, yeah. she pretended yes. to read it aloud, but of course she was not reading the letter. The original letter. Uh, the original letter. She was pretending that she was reading the letter, yeah, but sure. she was uh, saying something different. Yeah. Uh, saying your son couldn't go to school because he was a genius. Of course, the teacher didn't the write this in the, the letter. letter yeah, of course, sure. because he was a genius and the school was too small for him. Please teach him yourself. So Edison's mother hid the letter from her son, of course, and decided to educate young Thomas at, at home. home yes. So Thomas Edison wasn't sent anymore to school. school, he stayed at home, and his mother his began mother, uh, to, to teach educate him, him or yes, to or teach him, him at home. Yes. Uh, that was the mother's decision. decision. Yes. yes. It was, of course, a great decision. Yes. Um, let's say, or let's imagine that his mother told Edison the truth. What would happen if she told him the truth? Of course, he would be maybe uh, shocked, shocked. Uh, depressed. Uh, yeah, depressed, depressed, sure. exactly. Yes. Frustrated. Um, so instead of saying the truth, she pretended that, that she was uh, what was written in the letter was the opposite, and uh, she pretended that the teacher uh, wrote that your son uh, was a genius. Yeah, okay, sure. is a genius, and uh, you should not you uh, send him to school anymore. You can mm. teach him at yourself. Home. Yes, at home. Uh, okay. Uh, another question now, uh, what about, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the problem of Edison himself, I mean at school? Mm -hmm. What was the, this mental problem? Uh, what about the behavior of Thomas Edison at school? The notes of his teachers about mm -hmm. Thomas Edison, uh, what was the problem, Ms. Summer? After With being Edison. yes, after being taught at home, let's say uh, Edison was homeschooled by his mother's decision. Okay, he wasn't able to memorize lessons. This is the first problem, mm -hmm. and needed hands-on experience to understand and learn things. So he needs or, or or he needed an expert, maybe mm -hmm. or a qualified person, and maybe I think mothers uh, play this role. I think that. Mm -hmm. They understand the uh, behavior of their uh, kids or children, and then they behave according to uh, that. So uh, his mother did what his teacher mm -hmm. had to do. Okay, Edison's mother wasn't frustrated. So any mother, any uh, mother, yeah, when, sure. when she Except receives her, a letter like yeah, this, okay. of course, she will be frustrated, depressed, annoyed, right? right. But uh, she wasn't but frustrated. Here, no, wasn't. She decided. To continue. to continue, she decided sure. uh, to because she wanted Edison to be, to a, be a scientist, to, to, scientist, to be yes. uh, someone important in life, a special yeah. person. So that's why she insisted and to that's educate what happened, Edison actually. at home. Yes. Right. Uh, now, another question, Mr. Mazin. Yes. Where did he begin yeah, his, his experiments? experiments? I mean, Thomas Edison. Yes. yes. When he grew up, you know, uh, he set his laboratory at home and he started his own experiment at his lab uh, at home for sure. Mm -hmm. And then he set up his own telegraph station mm -hmm. and sent up messages by using the train whistle. At the age of 30, Edison invented the phonograph as it's you know, shown on the, mm -hmm. yes, this uh, uh, 
let me say, device. His work uh, in a number of fields created the basis for many technological technology that we enjoy today. So a lot of technologies that we enjoy to, to, today, this, you know, is accredited to, uh, you know, to Mr. Thomas right. Addison. So well, after he finished education at home, yes. he set up, or his, he grew yeah, up, own, and set up his laboratory. Yeah. Yes. He set up his laboratory at mm -hmm. home, and he began his experiments, his own experiments. Now, uh, he also set up his own telegraph station, as you know, and set out messages by yes, using by a train, using whistle. train whistle. Good. At the age of 13, 30, sorry, when he, he was invented, 30, yes. uh, Edison invented the phonograph, as you said, mm -hmm. and his work in a number of fields, of course. He worked in a number of fields, and his work created the basis for many technologies that we enjoy today. We enjoy a sure. lot of them, uh, like the radio, yeah. for example, the electric example, lamp, electric lamp etc. Sure. Well, yes. uh, the telephone, yes, why not? Many things. Okay. Yes. Uh, here, he was an uh, did Edison... Uh, when he failed, I mean, when someone, let's say, do or does, sorry, uh, some experiments, uh, yes, and fails. He, he may fail in, in some of them. Uh, when he failed, uh, did he give up? Uh, as you know that failure is, uh, or failure is a great teacher, no? Okay, so uh, even when he failed many times, let's say 10,000 times he failed while he was inventing the light, uh, bulb, but he didn't give up and he said uh, for example that he uh, learned every uh, new thing and everything he tried so while others failed yes he never he persisted to stop continue, yes. he never let's say quit, quit. quit. sure uh, he persisted he insisted to sure. continue, to continue. Yes. sure yes however like anyone else he suffered through failure numerous times good. but where others quit he persisted good uh, another question, is it true that mother's decisions, Mr. Mazin, yes. change the world? Yes, for sure. A, a, a mother's decision can change the world because after his mother's death, one day Addison found the hidden school letter, cried for hours, and then he wrote in his diary, Thomas Alvey Addison was mentally ill, a child that by a hero mother, became a genius. Edison said, my mother was a great woman. She believed in me and made me one of the greatest inventors. She made him a scientist. Good. Uh, so uh, after his mother's death, he uh, found he discovered the, the hidden letter. Yes. And he read what was written in the hidden letter. Yes. Of course, he was shocked, but he was very proud of his mother, right? Yes, yeah, uh, sure. Now, uh, we have some exercises, dear students. Uh, let's try to do them after the reading text, of course. Uh, here we have some, some vocab. Vocabs. Yes, yeah, Miss sure. Summer, please. Yes, we have some vocab that, uh, which was highlighted at the text in the text. Sorry. So let's say behave in a way to make people believe something that isn't uh, true. Okay, and this means pretend. Of course, to pretend. Here, I think the second choice must be a verb. We should give uh, the student. Uh, I mean, here it's just an exercise yeah, for sure. training. But in the final exam, of course, uh, the strategy will be different because uh, here we're asking students about a verb. So we should so give all the, the choices. No, all all the verbs. choices for verbs. Okay. All yeah. choices okay. must be verbs. Yeah. Sure. Uh, pretend. Uh, for example, uh, design, well, frustrate, maybe, frustrate, quit. Yes, yes, okay? Okay. So here, to pretend is to behave in a way to make people believe you. Yeah, sure. Believe something that is not true. So we have verb here. Of course. Okay. Uh, another one. Yes. Someone who is usually intelligent okay. or very smart. Yes. Uh, for sure. Uh, genius. genius. Uh, yes, genius. So all mm -hmm. the same thing, Mr. Vassal. Here we have to put all the choices a noun because the, the yeah. vocab which we are, it's required is a noun. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Okay, to make another verb here, to make somebody feel annoyed, to frustrate, maybe. Yeah, that's sure. Mm. Good. Yes, uh, stop doing something, which means quit. 
to quit it means to stop doing something to abandon that's right. to give up yes okay uh, here uh, another exercise yes about the text yes to decide whether these sentences are true or false and to correct the wrong ones okay the first sentence uh, said Edison's mother felt happy as soon as she read the letter right yeah. no that's false uh, she felt sad yes okay no, number two yes Thomas Edison teacher wrote that Edison was mentally ill yes it's true thank you number three Edison's mother decided to teach Edison abroad no that's false at home that's false not yes. true not yes. true yes uh, she decided to teach her son uh, at home yes yes number four Edison was not able to invent anything when he uh, grew up yeah no it's false because he was able to invent many things when he grew up good yes now and here is the correction of the sentences so she felt sad instead of happy the second sentence is uh, true and the third one is uh, false but the correction will be Edison's mother decided to teach Edison at home and the fourth one Edison was able to invent anything or something when he grew up good okay now we have another skill another skill yes vocabulary but using the yes, vocabulary yes. yes sir number one my father was a uh, at storytelling uh, the answer is he was genius at he was a genius genius at storytelling Telling. yes yes number two we have his showed that lightning was a kind of electricity and definitely at his experiments showed that lightning was a kind of electricity his experiments yes showed, showed. that lightning was a kind of electricity yes Number three, she, with her studies, in spite of financial problem, she persisted uh, with her studies in spite of financial problem. Good. Uh, number four, failing more than once frustrates students. Not yes. in the case of Edison, yes. sure. Yeah, sure. Failing more than once frustrates, frustrates. students. Well, That's mm -hmm. true. Fact. Okay. Uh, now... What about grammar? Uh, when we talk about grammar, dear students, I think that the, the skill here in this unit is very, very easy. Simple, yes. Simple. Uh, what is, when we talk, what is an imperative or what are imperatives? When we talk about imperative, what do we mean by this, Ms. Summer? Yeah, we mean maybe uh, we use imperative for many reasons. Uh, maybe I ask you to give me something. For example, let's it say could be a request. Ask, yes, mean. a request. Request. Okay. Maybe it uh, could An be order. Uh, uh, order. Yes. And instructions, maybe. Or instructions. Yes. yes. And uh, what else? So, in general, offer imperative. Something. Offer yes to offer something. Uh, imperative. To ask someone to, to do something. To, to start a request. the sentence with a verb, right? To start yes. the sentence with, with a, a verb, verb, not yes. with the subject. Mm -hmm. yes. So, for example as we can see on the screen open your, your book. book another one yes and this is the affirmative form of imperative mm -hmm. so here we use infinitive uh, to the start infinitive. the yes the infinitive to start our sentence while when we say don't eat in the class yes it's imperative but in negative form so yes. we use we use don't plus infinitive don't eat in the class open okay. your book this Good. is our grammar for this unit. As you said, it's very simple and easy. So, the uses of imperative? Yes. Yes. We use imperative to, first of all, give orders. Example, write your name. Write your homework at home. Write down your name. Yes. Write your name. It's okay. Yes. Uh, what else? Yes, we have another use uh, of imperative to give instructions. For example, suppose that you take a deep breath mm. take so a here we have a deep breath. breath yes yes number three we use imperative to offer something example have some tea have a seat 
Yes. 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 And uh, we use imperative to make a request or make request. Um, please be quiet. Your father is sleeping, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, let's try to do now uh, some exercises. Yes. We have here a question or exercise to underline the imperative verbs. We have to underline the verbs in imperative form. Stop. Could you take me to the station, please? And here we have the verb stop. Yes. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, of course. Get in and fasten your seatbelt. The imperative, uh, get in, and the second one is fasten or fasten your seatbelt. Get in and fasten your seatbelt. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, I am already uh, in, and please, uh, don't you drive too fast. Mm -hmm. I get sick easily, so here we have, don't drive. Yes. yes. Yes, I can't drive fast in the rush hour traffic. And please, don't be sick in my taxi. So this is the imperative, don't be, be sick, negative don't imperative. Be. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now... Another exercise. Yes. Please. Complete the following statements with words from the box. Here we have P. This is a library. People are studying. So be quiet, be noisy, be angry, or talkative. talkative. What do you think? Talkative. Let's say be quiet. Yeah, be quiet. Okay. Number two. Number two. When you get to the corner, turn that turn right. Okay, so the, the imperative, turn right. And here we have wear a helmet when you ride your bike. So don't or please, didn't, be, what do you think? Don't. No. Didn't? Please. Please, here, where, where, number two, when you get to the corner, yes. turn right. Yeah, we have sure. done this. Okay. Are you talking about something else? Uh, for example, to use please. We yes. have instruction, you have to wear, okay. you have to wear. So, so how you could say don't wear? So what do you think? What do you think? You Dear students? Yes. Okay. Don't wear. Don't wear. Yeah, grammatically maybe it's right. Right. Yeah. Oh, don't wear something. Don't wear, don't wear a helmet when you because a... Okay, when you <laughs> so and so. <laughs> no. Okay? I told you oh, grammatically okay. that's right. Yes, yes, yes. So here we have but number here we three. Have, yes. We have number three. Mm -hmm. uh, I can ask, if I want the person to wear, I say, please wear. Yes. If I don't him to wear, I say, don't, don't wear. wear. So yeah, it, okay. it depends on the speaker. So that's okay, sure. what I mean. Somehow. So that, okay? uh, grammatically, that's right to say, so, don't wear. So we should teach students, teach yes. our students according to, to different to situations. Different. Okay, okay. Uh, we according should not the teach context. the language as we teach maths, for example, okay? Yes. When you see uh, the verb where, okay, there is a verb, and there is a space before the verb, so, so use please, for no, example. It's no, like it's that. not wrong. Sometimes I don't situation. want the person to do the action, no. so what uh, I should use don't, not okay. please. Please, no, please. This is what I please mean. Wear. Okay? <laughs> so here, according to the don't meaning mis of Don't verse, misunderstand me. <laughs> do, uh, please wear a helmet <laughs> yeah, when okay. you ride your bike. Of course, here, according to the meaning, okay, you have to we should use please, use please okay. not don't. Sure. Okay? Okay, uh, definitely. Yes, number four. The bus leaves on time every day. Be late. So the answer is don't be late. Negative imperative. Yes. Please be late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The bus leaves on time no, every it's not day. Like Don't that, be late. You know. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, that's right. Uh, another one. Uh, where is mom? She's taking a nap. Please don't hear up. Yes, don't wake her up. Mm -hmm. Sure. Don't wake her up. You will be in mm. a big problem. Now uh, we can talk about writing. Uh, it's okay. Uh, when we talk about composition, dear students, of course, in the final exam, uh, you should know, of course, uh, you should have uh, uh, been learned how to write a paragraph. And I'm sure that 
in grade 8, in grade 7, in grade 6, you began to uh, uh, write uh, paragraphs at school with your teacher in your classroom, of course. But here we have some instructions mm -hmm. when we want to write a, a composition or a paragraph. Uh, let's try to talk about them in details, mm -hmm. Ms. Samar, Mr. Mazin. Yes. Uh, let me start with you, please, Ms. Samar. I would like to start with our uh, question or text about the paragraph. It's important to think carefully. This is at the end of the units, actually, and we have uh, uh, an idea here to talk about. It's important to think carefully and ask yourself some questions to decide if the choice you are making is good or bad. So here, the first one, it's important to think carefully. Yes. Ask yourself some questions to decide if the choice you're making is good or, or bad. bad. So okay, here we have, we have a problem, maybe, later. and we will try to find oh, solutions. Okay, okay, the second point. Yes, let's say you are at school and you hear people making fun of someone in your class, mm -hmm. mm, maybe so, bullying. Of course, it is a bad behavior Yes, here. it's a bad behavior. Uh, okay. Here we have rights, what you would do. In such a case, in yes. such a situation. And they mm. maybe give us uh, some hints choose one of the following solutions and write about it mm -hmm. okay uh, the first point to be kind mm -hmm. and the second one to defend your colleague who is being bullied so here we have let's say two let's say courses okay? yes to be kind and, and to, defend to defend him uh, the person who is being bullied yes yes that's right Let's try uh, to, uh, to, to talk about the first point, Mr. Mazin. Yes. When we say it's important to think carefully and ask yourself some questions to decide if the choice you're making is good or bad. Of course, here the students can write a lot of ideas on the paper, right? Yes, um, sure. What, what about the steps he should do? It, it, uh, I advise the students to, to, to put themselves in such a situation and try to imagine, okay? Yes. When they imagine the situation, they can write about it. Sure. So uh, we're, uh, we always try to convince the students and to teach them how to write, not how to, to memorize. memorize, not to memorize, but to write something by using their own words. How to express his uh, to or be able her, to write. Yeah, himself. So how yes. to be able to write? Of course, they should start with, first of all, writing yes. words. After writing words, Writing. They can write sentences, sentences. or structures, sure. complete structures. Only simple statements, at least. After this step, they can join two structures or two statements together yeah, by using, use let's say, connecting words. words, words connecting words. Right? Making, exactly, yes. conjunctions. Yes. Yes. Uh, so after this, they can express their own ideas. So mm -hmm. they can write different ideas on the paper. And then after this, they, let's say, we can write a draft. Okay, yes, and we can right. choose then. Mm -hmm. We write the first, let's say, composition as a draft. Then we go back to this draft and mm -hmm. read it again, trying to check. find the mistakes, yes. check okay. the mistakes, mistake, yes. any spelling kind mistakes, of mistake. Yes, sure. Grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, mm -hmm. uh, punctuation marks, capitalization, capitalization, whatsoever. Yes. So, uh, okay, uh, Mr. Mazen, yes. let me start with you. Let's start with the first step here. Yes. The first yes. step is a topic sentence. So how to write a how paragraph? How to paragraph, to write a, a paragraph? First of all, you have to write a topic sentence. What is a topic sentence? A topic sentence is the, the sentence which has the topic of the composition and the controlling idea. Good. For example, for example, mm -hmm. uh, let me say uh, uh, bullying is very harmful. Mm -hmm. So the topic sentence is because you're writing, uh, yes. you are writing about bullying. Bullying, yes. So yes. you should tell the reader yes. from the very beginning what are you, what, what are are you talking bullying. about. Yes. What are you so the reader to talk should about? know from the first sentence the main idea of your topic. For so sure. that's why we call this sentence the topic sentence or the key sentence. sentence yes. we, sure. Can, sure. we can we call, can call it, it the key, key sentence, sentence or yes, the topic sure. sentence because the main, it contains the main idea, the main idea yes. of the whole paragraph. Sure. Okay. After the topic sentence, what do we have? Uh, we have supporting sentences. Now, 
Okay, we, we you wrote have to about uh, try in the to introduction expand, yes, said to bullying your, is uh, very yes. harmful. Yes. We should know how to defend people from okay. bullying and Hello. let's say to stop this uh, phenomenon in our society. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is the introduction. Okay. After this, we go on to talk about the steps. Sure. What should we do to finish, let's say, this phenomenon in our society? Yes. Okay, this bad we should, Maybe we can support our topic sentence with supporting sentence such yes. as facts, for example. Let's say bullying uh, affects uh, the mental health or, of the students or the person who is uh, bullied, sure. Good. And then maybe we can say that uh, uh, to be kind to him, mm -hmm. to let him express his feelings, maybe, and to teach others or other students to respect mm -hmm. their, their mates or classmates. Yes, and here we have three, at least we can write three supporting sentences, as you like. Okay. Yes, okay. Here, of course, uh, I'm talking to my dear colleagues, the teachers. Mm -hmm. Of course, they can ask the students to, some questions mm -hmm. to, let's say, as to brainstorming. Yeah, brainstorming, uh, nice. You see, to get ideas, different mm -hmm. ideas. And he can or she can write these ideas on the whiteboard or sure. on the blackboard. On the, on the board <laughs> in general okay and so here okay. yes so here uh, students can see their ideas written on the board sure. so uh, they can exchange uh, their experiences and uh, from these ideas they can imagine right the whole paragraph I mean mm -hmm. the introduction then and the steps for example idea. any teacher can ask the students uh, what can you do when you uh, let's say find some people bullying yes, uh, another one, how another uh, 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 what do you do in this case of course he will get or she will get different answers ideas, from yes. the students or ideas yes. so here supporting sentences uh, we mean the body of the paragraph this sure. is the body uh, Mr. Bassett, we have an introduction yes. Yes. then the body of the paragraph mm -hmm. which contains the supporting sentences, sentences I yes. mean the, the sentences support, which support the, the main topic idea sentence. yes the topic yes, sentence, Mr. Basil, has the controlling idea. The controlling idea is harmful. So all the supporting sentence should, uh, you know, uh, serve this uh, idea. Support. Yes, That's to why support. We, yes. we call to it support, supporting yes. sentences. And we should not write yes. something in you. We have to just uh, go around this idea, which yes. is harmful. Sure. Yes. Uh, and the last one. The last one is the concluding sentence. The conclusion. conclusion, yes. So here it could be a sentence, it could be two sentences, three sentences. Yes. Uh, it depends on uh, the student himself. So I he can write one sentence. That's... He can write two statements to finish yeah. the paragraph. Yeah, sure. I mean, two statements as a conclusion. The conclusion may contain one, two, two three. three. It's okay. okay, but we call these sentences concluding, concluding sentences or, concluding or one sentences. concluding yes. sentence yes. at least. Because, okay. yes. To facilitate so, the mission for the students, to our students, let's say. We have an example? That, uh, no, not only an example. Let's say that the topic sentence and the concluding sentence are parallel. Yes. But we make, um, let's Curse. say, uh, better phrasing for the Curse. topic sentence. Curse. Here we uh, have brainstorming. Yes. When we, talk about, when we talked about brainstorming, uh, what can we do in this case? We can write our ideas. Hmm. The general topic yes. or the main idea? Yeah, sure. So I ask myself, yes, uh, how, what, to, what to say? Uh, what should I say here mm -hmm. as a main sentence? Okay. Uh, let's make a sentence. I can write, let's have, say, uh, the student, branches, the student yes. can write four, five, six statements. Yes. And then after writing them, in the he drafts. can choose, yes. let's say, the best one. I want the this best one sentence. or this one. Huh? Okay, yes. The, the, the suitable one, the more suitable one. So, uh, or what he likes best or more. <laughs> okay? Uh, okay, that's it. So, the general topic or the main idea, this is the brainstorming for oh. the reader, of course. Sure. Oh. And what is in the conclusion? Yes. Yeah, um, um, actually, I got an uh, example about the conclusion. Maybe bullying mm -hmm. has negative impact on children and we should support and defend them. Good. I express the concluding or the concluding sentence in uh, another way. And you can use some words to express your conclusion or that you are in the last paragraph. Maybe finally, uh, maybe in short, uh, to sum up at the end, in my opinion, as you like to express this conclusion. Yes. 
Yeah. Yes. Uh, another. So report. here uh, we can use these words. Yes. Finally. Yeah, in short. Yes. In conclusion. To, to sum, sum up. up to uh, conclude. At the end. At the end. So these are, uh, uh, as you can see, dear students, some words mm -hmm. that can be used to write your conclusion. Last paragraph. Or to, to end your paragraph, yes, yes. let's say. Uh, here, uh, when we want to edit, I mean, students, okay, wrote a draft, as I said. Yes. After writing your draft, dear students, girls, you can edit now. Uh, the second step is editing. Yes. I mean, we wrote, we have written the draft. The second, trip, uh, the second step, step sorry, yes, is editing your paragraph or yes, editing sir. your draft. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, checking Check. Um, any kinds of, of mistakes. mistakes. Yes. Uh, yes. Mr. Mazin. Yes. Uh, when this is, you know, uh, editing is very important. So we can uh, edit the grammatical mistake. Or if grammar we, mistakes. Grammar yes. mistakes. Uh, spelling, yes, uh, capital letters, uh, you know, and uh, punctuation. Uh, when, yes, uh, if we used the correct punctuation, the full stop, the comma, etc., mm -hmm. uh, this is, you know, uh, we do this. Good. So after editing mm -hmm. the paragraph, I and the student, I mean, mm -hmm. can write now the final, uh, let's say, copy or yes. the final uh, uh, yes. uh, statements. And the final bar yes. yes. I wanted yes. to mention uh, what do we mean by grammar mistakes, what yes. do we mean by spelling mistakes, what, uh, and so on and so forth. Let's talk about the grammar mistakes. Okay. Uh, you know that uh, we should have a subject verb agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say check your sentences if the uh, uh, verb agree with the subject. Uh, not, not only subject, not only verb, subject agreement, verb agreement. The, we the, have the many tenses, other mis the yes, tenses, uh, the also. forms of yes, we have to be mentioned the in writing that paragraph. Yes, sure. Of the verbs. I yeah, mean, sure. Uh, using sometimes uh, prepositions the is related verbs, to grammar. The suitable yes. prepositions. Mm -hmm. Suitable right? pronouns. Suitable pronouns. An adjective. Should I use here an adjective, an adverb, yeah, or sure. what? Okay, a noun, okay. an adjective, etc. So here, uh, students should be careful or mean, about that. Uh, master grammar when they write yes. because writing as uh, a skill contains all the these skills, skills together skills. Yes, sure. right it contains Personal grammar reading, uh, grammar, spelling yes. uh, punctuation marks capitalization everything so uh, that's all uh, what i think about, uh, yes uh, uh, do we have an example or not no no we don't okay have well, i think here. dear students we have mentioned everything about uh, the writing skill. Uh, dear students, uh, let's say uh, time is over. Uh, uh, at the end of this uh, seminar, let me thank uh, my dear colleagues in the studio, Ms. Samara Esrawi, an English much. teacher yes. from Damascus countryside, Mr. Mazen Abdul Karim, an English teacher again from Damascus countryside. Thank you very dear much. students, till we meet again, we wish you all the best. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah, good.